Hello. Many of your comments around week 12 noted organizational change and leadership change and some resistance and how uh, visuals, for example, help break down what the change means. Well, let me share some experiences with you right now. As you know, Fort Hayes State University has a new president, Dr. Myrta Martin, a president with a very strong and compelling personal story to tell of her exodus from Castro's Cuba, being raised by uh, a group of nuns in Spain, immigrating to the United States, becoming a U.S. citizen and a successful banker with a Ph.D., and now the president at Fort Hayes State University. She has brought with her immense change, and I'd like to tell you how she's gone about it. It is truly bottom up. The first step was a survey of faculty and staff to determine the issues that they have on their minds, what I have on my mind about the current organization and processes at the university. That data was amalgamated by a committee into a set of proposals, change proposals, and a town hall was held to roll them out. Immediately following that town hall, which was led by President Martin and the provost, she a, a further survey went out to collect uh, folks' reactions. The provost presented that information in an exceptionally clear manner. What he did was create a spreadsheet. Left-hand column, the issue. Next column, the pros. Next column, the cons. So, you can scroll down this spreadsheet and immediately see visually where people were supporting a change and where folks were opposing a change. That kind of bottom-up change is remarkable, but it fits into the comments that several made about a new CEO bringing a new vision. It is not unusual in business to have this approach. It is very unusual at a university to adopt this approach because after all, because of the tenure process, change is not exactly in the air in a normal institution of higher ed. So the changes that we're going through now are stakeholder involvement, they're bottom up. I hope this gives you some insight as you reflect on the changes you've experienced in your work world.